I've had several questions lately about uh, particularly making patterns to fit the human body. In particular, people have been asking about shoulder holsters and how to make the straps that fit just right around the shoulders and under the arm and that complex shape that they are. And I figured I wanted to share exactly a trick that somebody told me. Uh, this comes from somebody that originally was making leather costume armor for like Renaissance fairs um, and various other things. And I've actually seen it from a couple different people that did that. And I've also seen it applied to people that are making corsets. The difference between corsets and costume armor is kind of academic. But I'm going to demonstrate with, uh, I've got a tailor's dummy here to help me out. But you can actually do this on a person. What you need is an old shirt that you don't care about destroying. Uh, something that either doesn't fit right or it's already torn up or just in general a problem. And you need masking tape. And basically we're going to make a bandaged up shirt that's covered with masking tape that'll be stiff. And then we'll be able to draw on that directly. Um where we want to make our pattern. You can't really just do this with just the shirt because it doesn't fit quite tailored perfectly to the body like you would need. Let's see if my masking tape decides to agree with me too. Obviously, this is going to be a long process, so we'll go ahead and skip through this real quick and get to the point where I actually get to show you what I'm doing. Now, once you get a couple layers of tape on whatever, whoever your victim happens to be that you're doing this to, if you're doing this on yourself and trying to do this, it's obviously very hard to wrap the tape around yourself and draw on yourself, so you need to get somebody to help you to do that if you're trying to make something to fit yourself. Um, it obviously works best if you've got somebody else about the same size that you can work on, or if you're, of course, making it for someone else. But then you can just, once you have the tape on there, you can just kind of draw on it where you want everything to fit. Uh, you got to remember your collarbone. You need to come out far enough from that. You'll need to do a, a reality check after you get this done to make sure that it's going to fit the way that you want it to. So let's say we want to strap off the shoulder there, down here. We want our holster to fit right in here. So we'll go down to that. And we'll just draw in kind of a line across where we want the holster to fit. This might be a little high. I mean, it depends on exactly what you're going for. But it's probably not far off. So we'll go ahead and round that off, just above that line. We can always add on to it if we need to. We're just trying to get the general shape. Because this is not a straight shape that you're gonna wind up with. And of course you can refine it a little bit afterwards. Might need to add on to that a little bit. Because right now we're going down just to our holster. You can add on straps that add, that go onto that, that go down to the holster. I've seen little tabs where they're, um, this holds onto a D-ring and there's also the D-rings attached to the holster. And in that case you would just add on enough to loop through that D-ring. Like I said, once we get this curve, that's the hard part. The rest of it we can all add on to as needed. And of course, you want to probably make this adjustable somewhere in here as well. Um, another way to do a shoulder holster is you can have this these pieces, and then you can have another piece that goes down. And you gotta have far enough under the arm that it's comfortable. got a piece that comes down under the arm 
and the holster will attach directly onto that. And just sew on there and hang down. And you can, like I said, do that as two separate pieces, one over the shoulder and one under the arm. You can also figure out where you're going to add on straps in this case. If it's going to be like the hunting style holster, I actually got, made it curve out and down in front of the chest to where it attached to the holster. And then there were straps that attached all the way around to it. Um, you can use this to make, like I said, originally it came from somebody that was making armor. So you can use this to completely cover a torso and draw out the armor and basically draw the armor plates where you want them and what you want it to look like and design it on somebody's torso or on, if you're lucky enough to have a tailor's dummy that's about the same size as you, on one of those. Um, I've even heard of people like using this technique to make a more solid shell that they then actually used as a mold to make a plaster torso. That's going a little far, I think. But anyway. Once we've got this, we can figure, okay, we want this to go across the back. Uh, I could have added more tape here to where we're going to put our, our X in the center, but you don't want your straps to be way up here. Uh, but you want them fairly close up on top of the shoulder. So let's say you might add a strap attaches here and goes down and they cross in the back. And another strap attaches down here. And that'll be... The two straps will get lined up. Two straps will cross like that and go to the other side. Are they cross and they go um, just around the other arm? The other possibility is put a, a strap right across the back of the shoulders, right around in here. So it's not on the back of the neck, but a little bit further down. And then you can attach, basically you do a left and right of these and attach them together right across, right in here. And I really like that style because then you have a counterweight on this side, usually a magazine pouch, and then you have the holster. And it just goes on like a vest. You just put put your arms through it, put it on, and it just settles in there and like it fits like you're wearing a vest that isn't buttoned up. But anyway. Now we get to the part where I mentioned you want to do this with a shirt you don't mind destroying. And that's because we're gonna go ahead and cut this up. If you're doing this on someone else, obviously, you need to be careful. Because this is tightly fit to the body. Uh, having a pair of bandage scissors from like a first aid kit could be useful. But basically, once you get it cut that much, you can take it off of them. And the tape will keep everything in a three-dimensional shape. And I'm just using this as a rough cut pattern. I'm not trying to get my exact pattern on this. I could be a little bit more careful than I am being. But at the moment, I just want to get something close that I can then refine on paper before I go to a piece of leather and get to the expensive material to work with. Because right now, all I'm out is a couple dollars of masking tape and an old shirt that was something I was probably going to throw away anyway. As you can see, this stayed at the three-dimensional shape. There's a couple places that there were two layers of cloth there that are a little bit, they're throwing me a bit. But 
makes it this state a three-dimensional shape. We can cut that apart where we're planning on putting it together. Like I said, either this is going to attach to the holster here, or I'm going to make another piece down here with this curve. That piece will lay mostly flat, and now this piece will lay mostly flat. Now, I want to mark on this right away before I forget, and I probably should have done it while it's still up on the dummy, that this is the back, and this is the front of the person. Because as you can see, this is not perfectly symmetrical. Uh, the one side curves differently than the other. So this has a lot more curve to it. Uh, this is a lot gentler curve. But then we can go take this to a piece of paper and we can start making our real pattern. A piece of paper, a piece of poster board. And we're going to mark this curve too. You see, this is all very rough, but we'll clean that up. And as I said, you just go ahead and take this and draw it out, cut it out, see if it fits. You can tape these together with just some masking tape or some um, scotch tape and see if those pieces are going to fit and going to work with you. Um, you can add more onto this. Here, on the part that's going to be the front usually. And you can put several sizing holes. Of course, you want to make sure that those are spaced the same amount apart. And you can do the same thing on this piece. Add sizing holes onto it. They can be single line like that. You can do a double line of them and do lacing to put it together. A uh, single line like this will be put together with screw posts or something like that. Uh, and that's pretty much what you would need. You would have this spot here is where the holster attaches to it. When I was working on the back of it, I had some marks I made for where to attach straps. We'll go ahead and put those on there. Say rivet strap here. Rivet strap here. The straps are of course just straight straps. Those are easy. Uh, you just make those whatever length they need to be. Um, you can even make those to where they can be cut down and just punch a new hole and get it set exactly the way you want it. But that is basically a real quick shoulder holster pattern that's fit, well, it's fit to dummy over here, but dummy's almost the exact same size as me, so this would probably fit me just fine. And of course you could do this, like I said, to the person you're actually wanting to make something for if there's somebody that, you know, they've got the time for you to do something like this with them and are willing to put up with it. Now, as I said, you want to kind of take these back together and make sure that it's going to work, it's going to fit, reality test it. One thing I would change on this one is you can see that these pieces don't quite line up with each other the way I would like. 
This one's a lot narrower and they just kind of come together, not a smooth flow here. So I'd probably change this one to flow into this one a little bit more, change that back one and widen the front one a little bit. And maybe take out some on this side just to get it all to match up a little bit better right there. Just to limit these two little corners here. Because this piece is going to be attached together pretty permanently. This side is pretty good and it's going to be where we have adjustments. So it's going to change a little bit anyway. But then you want to make sure that it's actually going to fit on a shoulder. And make sure that it fits over your shoulder the way that it should. It doesn't bind anywhere. Like I said, make sure it doesn't go over the collarbone. There's actually this bone that sticks out here. You don't want something to rest on top of that. You want your, your straps to go to the side of it, to where it's in that uh, hollow of your shoulder. Because otherwise it'll, it'll either chafe there or it'll bruise there, depending on how heavy whatever you have underneath here is. But you want it to sit in there and it should stay pretty much on its own like this. Now, I mean, obviously if you're active, it's not going to stay put. But right now it just kind of hangs in there and sort of fits. And something hanging from it would just kind of stay. Um, that's what you're looking for. You don't want it to be uh, where it wants to slide off your shoulder. If that's the case, you got to adjust how much it curves up here on the top uh, to get it to fit in. But you also don't want it to be where it pinches anywhere uh, under the arm or anything like that. So that's what you want to check whenever you go ahead and put it on. But otherwise, that would be with a little bit of reshaping there. That would be a successful shoulder holster pattern.